Hi, I'm Howard Ernovitz, CEO of FBB Biomed. I am pleased to announce that we just filed our next provisional patent application for the artificial intelligence enabled classification of health and disease in all forms of life, which includes animals, plants, and microbes. The far reaching implications of this invention give us the first look at a world without cancers, brain diseases, autoimmunity, or pandemics. This achievement was accomplished through what can best be described in one word, innovation. Let us show you the journey we took to become the Iowa Innovator of the Year. We are thrilled today to recognize FBB Biomed as the Iowa Innovator of the Year. Wow. What a great honor. Uh, I can't thank the John Papa John Entrepreneurial School enough for teaching me how to get to this moment, to teaching me what is the opportunities one can reap when you innovate. So what is innovation? Definition, introducing products, goods, and service to an existing market. Because if in fact you're starting at a brick wall, you've got to innovate your way out of this. And that's exactly what is innovation to us is a way to meet the demands of your customers even though there isn't anything available for them right now. So I don't build tests that doctors I think should use. I build tests that doctors tell us what they need. They said, give us an alternative to the spinal tap. We looked at it. We said, well, we're gonna have to sequence the rest of the human genome, check. We're gonna have to file the patents on that, check. And then we're gonna to have to go out and put it in the hands of our customers so they can save lives. That's what an innovation is, and that's what an innovator is. We got very lucky. You know, he dropped in our lap. He had a reason to be in Iowa, and we just got very fortunate to have somebody like that because that profile, a successful previous entrepreneur in the biotech space is exactly what we want to cultivate here. And the more Howards we have here, the better off this ecosystem will be because everybody can learn from his experience. Let me give you the exact example of what we innovated. We looked at 10% of the genome and when we started to look at it, we started to see things that were common throughout life. Our colleagues called it contamination. We realized it was not contamination, but in fact, it was our own human genome containing the ancestral genes of evolution that got us to this point in time. We had to think not only outside the box, but outside the store. We had to think not only outside the box, but outside the store. We had to think not only outside the box, but outside the store. That's <laughs> <laughs> Measuring innovation is really hard. Uh, there are several ways to do it. So how do you measure the progress? You measure it by uh, clinical studies. You measure by the money they've raised. You measure by the talent they're able to pull in. In the end, you measure it by an acquisition. And then the ultimate measure, of course, is changing patient care. We measure it by return on investment. We've invested $2 million into this company and now have a minimal viable product that will generate tens of billions of dollars a year. Innovation is about maximizing value with a minimal amount of resource. And that's what venture capitalists and others are going to look for. Are you good stewards of their money? Are you using it in the most efficient way? Do you have the right type of talent that's going to attract investment? Venture capitalists always say, uh, we don't bet on the horse, we bet on the jockey. Was Howard a good jockey? Howard's a good jockey because Howard's got a track record. And lastly, I want to talk about how do we communicate our message? That has been extremely difficult. And that's where we had to innovate by using YouTube and LinkedIn social media with our video videography program. The innovators have to have this certain amount of confidence in their vision, and they have to be able to articulate that well. Howard has those skills. 
Howard is a very good communicator. Innovation, that's how you get products to the marketplace. Thank you so much. Well, okay, it's right here. I want to say to the world, if you want to get your product into the market, you got to come to Iowa City and enroll in the program. Thank you.